Hello what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel today I am going to start another video series in this series I will mainly focus on making components for my projects if there is an important point I will explain it to you so in this video I am going to create a tab button if you remember my web browser this is related to it that means I will use this custom widget in the future to create my new web browser you know Qt has regular widgets like push buttons and labels so we can create our own widgets that's what I meant by a custom widget. We can create simple widget using Qt Designer. Also, we can create some complex widget by coding. If you watch my teleporter video, I think you remember the spinning label. That's a custom widget. So, guys, enjoy the video. Some of you may be thinking what am I doing now, actually renaming this object is not necessary but I do it for safety ok. Because sometime it will be a problem to have the same object name in both child and parent especially when we working with styling.
actually i would like to have a separate file to write the class otherwise it will be difficult when we need to change the ui The set active function is used to set the active status on the tab. In my new web browser video, you will see how this works. The set ID function is used to set a unique ID for the tab widget. So in this case, I will use this push buttons object name as the ID because it is easy in our case. So we don't want to use a separate variable. This is a mouse press event. When we click on the widget, the function body is getting executed. This is a PyQt signal, it can emit a signal which means that we can use these QT signals to pass signal from one widget to another. A signal is not enough to do that so we have to connect it to a slot. So you know when we are working with push buttons, we use push button dot click dot connect and then function within parentheses. That is a slot connection and click is a signal. So I think you got my point. So you can see here when we press the left mouse button on the widget, the signal emit our push button's object name. That way we can find out which tab button was pressed.
actually we don't need this code block anymore because we don't want to run it here and this is my project folder structure so this project will be working in the browser app 2 folder that's why i put the folder name before the python file name so guys this video is over this is just a component i will use it in the future so don't forget to subscribe my channel see you in the next video goodbye